We're gonna ride 20 miles in on an ATV, and at the end of it, we'll get to a glacier. At this point, I'm like, we're obviously not crossing right here. He yells at us to put it in four wheel drive. All I could think was, you know, now it's an adventure. <laughs> to the glacier. It's a photographer's playground out there. I love to adventure and the filmmaking and the photography allow me to capture those moments and helps for me to share it with other people. My name's Dan Redfield and these are my photo ventures. We started our adventure in Palmer, Alaska, and the place that we take off at is already in the back country. And the day we chose to go riding was an absolute peach of the day. We're gonna ride 20 miles in on an ATV, and at the end of it, we'll get to a glacier. We're gonna go through all kinds of terrain. We're gonna go through some mud, water, riverbeds, a couple sand dunes as well. So, in order to start this thing, one click, four wheel drive. You guys need it, try to hear this dial, keep turning it off, key just back, just like that. So Trajan, comfort level one to 100, how do you feel? Solid four. Solid four, <laughs> <laughs> So we go directly from the house to the ATV trails. And immediately we already see wildlife. We saw a bear crossing the road. Ended up just to be, you know, a big dog. I wouldn't have been surprised. Took a little bit of getting used to with the side-by-side, -side, but after a little bit, I started getting comfortable with it and started, you know, giving a little bit of gas and having fun with it. There's deep spots here, shallow spots over there, so you have to know how to navigate this thing. So while Dan was showing us how to cross a river, he was, uh, you know, he was hot dog a little bit, which was perfect, made for some cool photo opportunities. We came up to the Connect River right here, and we've got this little crossing and kind of a cool photo opportunity. So I'm gonna have him jump in the water, do a wheelie perpendicular to us, setting the camera to burst so that I can fire off a bunch of shots in quick succession just so I can get that exact shot that I want. Back on two wheels, just getting some. Are you gonna get some, Dan? Get some what? You wanna get some? <laughs> We took a little detour. Dan took us up to this knoll and we were able to get our first glimpse of the glacier.
So Dan tells me we're about halfway through and we've got one obstacle in our way and it's this big body of water, pond, whatever you want to call it. Usually it's about two, about two feet deep, but because of all the runoff, it could be three feet deep. You think Alaska, you think tundra, you think, you know, cold climate, rocky, icy. We got to an opening and, and it almost kind of looked like the desert. I was half expecting a tumbleweed to just kind of bounce by us. It was more or less just fine rocks and those, those purple flowers. So these beautiful purple and pink flowers you see in this area right here, it's almost like a fiery. They kind of start blooming at the top as the season goes on. They're absolutely gorgeous, and they offered some really great foreground elements for a few of our shots. Dan says we're about 75% of the way through. We've been riding for about four or five hours at this point. It's an absolute mad dash just to get to this glacier. This thing just keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger. After five or six hours, finally, we get to the glacier and this thing is absolutely, it was worth the ride. It's a photographer's playground out there. You've got icebergs, you've got the little rock towers that people have built. And it's springtime, so you've got all the green vegetation contrasting with the blue glacier and the blue water out there. Out of the color palettes, glacier blue and springtime green, I mean, those are two of my favorite colors. So back over here, we got Knick Glacier, and this thing is massive, five miles wide, 25 miles deep and a thousand feet thick. I wanted to get into the tourism business, especially the ATV tours, because one, I have a passion for riding ATVs, I have a passion for the outdoors, and I just want to be able to share that with everyone. I want to thank Dan for bringing me out here. We had an amazing time. Thanks Aaron and Rachel for putting up with me, pulling out my camera every five seconds. What an amazing place out here. You got to come see it for yourself. So once I called wrap, that was done, put the cameras away and that gave us an opportunity to just ride and just have fun and not have to worry about stopping and setting up people and setting up our shots. It was just ride. I think that goes with everybody. You'll grow up, but you'll never stop being a kid. So any opportunity Dan could get to go play in the water and play in the mud, uh, he took it. <laughs>
funnest part about riding ATVs is just getting on the throttle. I just like to have fun, let loose a little bit. We'll have to ask Dan where he wants us to be. Dance. What's that? Huh? Did you say dance? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dan does a dance. <laughs> dance, just a random dance. <laughs> One of our obstacles that we have to cross is this little, is this a creek? It's just a pond? Water. It's water. On the way out here, I got to, <laughs> there's a bug dope over there if you want some. <laughs> Everyone's like, you had bug spray the entire time. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, guys, it's the woods. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> so Connect Glacier is five miles wide, a thousand feet deep. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, hmm. what? A thousand hoops? <laughs> Jeez, let's try to keep it PG here. Back over there is Colony Glacier. Dan, what's the facts? Quick. Wrong. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's a block of ice. <laughs> 